Okay, wind. What's all this talk about wind? Um, wind, accuracy, yards per ring, wind mile, miles an hour per wing, ring, it's all the same. Um, if you go to Golf Clash Notebook and go to wind, there's a lot of information that's hard to dig through. You can read all these different things, but basically I'm going to show you the easiest way that I know of to explain how to adjust for wind. So you got to start with knowing your clubs. You have to know what each one of your clubs represents as far as accuracy. And I'll explain that here in a minute. But let's just take a look at the woods and let's look at the horizon. The horizon accuracy is zero when it begins. So at level one, it's zero. Zero equates to three yards per ring. So if I pull up my wind chart or my rings, this is the target rings that you're looking at on the ground whenever you line up your shot, each ring represents three yards. So this is three yards, that's three yards, that's three yards. So three, six, nine, 12, all the way to the center is 15. So from the center to this outside ring is 15 yards. So let's say that um, if you miss the shot to the right, it's it, it could be all the way out to 15 yards right or 15 yards left. This ring chart is also in the middle of your swing. When you have your swing arrow rotating through, you'll see this ring chart in the middle. And those rings represent the same exact distances depending on the club accuracy. So if my arrow swings through and I just hit it good, good is this blue right here. So if I hit it right here and I hit it good, I've now missed nine yards to the right. So that's pretty significant. That's when you'll see the ball come in and curve to the right, curve to the left. It's because you've now missed that far. If I hit it perfect, notice I still have three yards anywhere in this yellow. This yellow is perfect. So even if I hit it perfect, I could still miss it three yards right or three yards left. Um, same thing with good. I hit a lot of good shots personally. That's what I hit. So I'm missing up to six, six yards right or six yards left by hitting it good. And it pisses me off because I don't hit a lot of eagles because of it. So that's why I like to use the sniper. The sniper is only one yard per ring. So if I hit it good, I'm only two yards off my target right or two yards off my target left. So that's why I like the sniper. Um, but I need accurate clubs because as my arrow swings through, I have a tendency not to stop it on time. So what's this mean as far as wind goes? Well, one yard equals one mile an hour of wind. So, so one mile an hour of wind will blow your ball one yard. Um, five miles an hour of wind will blow your ball five, five yards. So it depends on your accuracy. If I've got the horizon, it's not going to impact this club that much. The wind really isn't impacting this club. This club is so inaccurate that you, your swing is what's impacting this club. But as you can see here, 15 yards left or right, this equates to 15 miles an hour. So if you had a 15 mile an hour wind, it could blow your ball one full chart off to the left or right. Um, now, using this is pretty hard to use in game. What I recommend is that you have all of your, you have to know all of your clubs. So, I created a little wind chart and it starts at zero and it goes to a hundred. Zero accuracy is three, is three yards per ring or three miles an hour of wind per ring like we just saw on Golf Class Notebook. 100% accuracy is one mile an hour per wind. And then basically this chart just fills in the rest. So um, skipping five, because I don't think there is a club that's five miles an hour. So you, you have to know, and this is what people talk about when they say you have to know your, your club's accuracy. The uh, extra mile, and I forgot what level my extra mile is, I think this is six, it's 45% accurate which means that per ring, 
is 2.1. So you have to have this chart somewhere and you have to know what all of your clubs are um, in order to use this method. Now I like to just keep a little one, a little mini chart somewhere. Um, you can print this out. A lot of guys will print this out and they'll leave it beside their iPad while they're playing uh, just so that they'll know how many rings to adjust for. So the next uh, video, I'll show you what I'm talking about on the iPad.